Ani, my name is Chef Joseph Shawana. I am a chef, educator, father, and a husband. Today we're going to be featuring one of my favorite recipes, the sugar bush. That features a lot of ingredients such as maple syrup, wild leeks, and abundance of vegetables that you can mix and match as you want. Today we're going to be making it with uh, some leeks and some tricolor carrots. And to tie everything in together, we're going to be putting the pesto on top of this fresh Canadian raised chicken in half, just straight down the breast bone we're going to be going, and we're going to flatten it out, and then we're going to lather as much of the pesto on top, and at the bottom and season with a little bit of salt and pepper. So we'll get started. To make the pesto, I already rinsed the leek tops, just under cold water, and then we're just going to dice them in, just like one inch dice pieces. Just grab your food processor. Or if you don't have a food processor, you have a pesto mortar at home, that will be perfectly fine too as well. Just place them in. Just a little sprinkle of your pine nuts. I like to put my pine nuts in a hole and raw. A lot, some people like to use, like roast them off, get more of the natural oils out of them. Just give it a more nutty flavor. I'm not going for the nutty flavor though. I'm going for more of the garlicky onion flavor out of the ramps. So in the spring, we go foraging for a lot of vegetables, a lot of edibles. So my wife, my son, and myself, we harvest a lot of wild leeks to the point where our whole place smells like onion and garlic for like three or four weeks while we're drying them. Then froze them individually, then package them so we can use them in the spring, summer, fall, and winter for a lot of, a lot of recipes that we, that we like to use. So you just grab like four or five ramps, depending on the size. Add your olive oil. This is just gonna add a little bit more flavor to your pesto. You can use any oil you want. I just prefer to add a little bit more flavoring to my, my wild leek pesto. Uh, maple syrup, just to sweeten it up a little bit. And it'll actually give the chicken, while it's cooking in the oven, a nice caramelized color. So a lot of the maple syrup that we harvest back home, we, we do it over an open fire. So you get that smoky flavor. Uh, the maple, that's the only way I prefer my maple syrup. Then get it a nice amber color. It has uh, a little known fact about maple syrup. It's one of the only sugars that you diabetics can consume just because of the natural minerals that are in the uh, syrup itself. All sugar is not healthy, but it's a lot, little, sorry, whoop. it's a little bit more healthier than any other sugar that you can find. So, which is why it's so important to my community and to my whole family that we only use this sugar instead of other sweeteners. So a lot of my cooking, I use maple syrup as a sweetener or maple sugar. So, so after you add everything into your, your blender, just turn it on. A lot of my cooking comes from memories. A lot of my recipes come from memories. So when I try to recreate a recipe that's based off of wild leeks, I try to get the aroma or I just smell it and then it just brings me back to a place just, just like that. When you're prepping your chicken, I like to just go straight down the breastbone, just right here. You're just gonna do a nice cut here. Just like so. So Canadian chicken is, there's no added hormones, no added steroids. They are family operated. Over 90% of Canadian chicken farms are run by family operations. So now that we butterfly the chicken, by butterflying you just cut right down the breastbone, right down to the neck and all the way to the back. So grab your wild leek pesto that you made, your wild ramp pesto, and then just generously put it all over your chicken. Funny enough, our word for chicken is bakakwe. Actually, the because it resembled a female so much, kwe in our language is female woman, like that means woman. So baka is the way it would sound, and then kwe is what it would re resemble, which is why we call it baka kwe. And just a little bit more maple syrup on, just drizzle it on top, just to give it that nice caramelized color. Just gonna grab your carrots, like I said, I like to keep them whole. If you have bigger ones, just cut them in half, like so, and then just put them on your plate like so. Your leeks, let's give them a quarter and a half again. Grab your little bit of olive oil and just for your veg. 
just like so. Then we're gonna be placing this in a oven set at 375 degrees. That's preheated for about 40 minutes, just until the internal temperature reaches 165 or 167. Depending on your oven, it does vary from oven to oven. So my name is Joseph Shawana. I would like to say miigwech for coming into my kitchen to let me showcase my sugar bush recipe featuring Canadian chicken that is raised by Canadian farmers. Miigwech.